we know that training the mind is a good thing. You look around you to see lots of people with untrained minds. And as the Buddha said, the dangers of the world don't come from wise people, they come from fools. And so we want to train ourselves to be wise, so that at the very least no danger comes from us. Now, other people may be dangerous, but the real danger is if you allow their unskillful behavior to make your behavior unskillful. So as long as you're holding on to the principles of what you know is right, what is for your long-term welfare and happiness, then their dangers can affect only the outside. They don't go deep inside. It's when you start seeing things in line with them. That's when they've had a bad impact on you. That's when they've actually harmed you. Remember the harm they can do to your material possessions, the harm they can do to your body. It's nothing compared to the harm they can do to the mind. And they can do harm to your mind only if you let them. So strengthen the mind in its concentration, strengthen it in its discernment. I know of someone who was taking a trip across Siberia on the Trans-Siberian Railway one time. He go on to the other side of the world, and he found the human beings over there were just as bad as they are here. Lots of corruption, lots of mean behavior. He thought about the whole world being like this. And Got him really depressed, but then he stopped to think, well, other people's behavior doesn't mean that I have to behave like theirs. I can still make up my mind that I want to be a moral person, I want to be a person who is harmless, who does good for the world. And it's not a question of there being lots of them and just one of you. The fact that it is you, you're taking care of where you're responsible. If other people see that as a good example, fine. If not, at the very least, you've made sure that there's no danger coming from you. And that's all a human being can do. But it's a lot. The world needs more good examples. So if you don't like the examples you see, we'll go out and set a good one. Although going out doesn't necessarily mean going out in public. It means going out into your thoughts, words, and deeds. Make sure that they're in line, that they're harmless, that they're based on goodwill, based on your discernment as best you can see what's right and what's wrong. And you will have accomplished a lot right there.